Controlling camera settings with an external monitor while using video assist tools at the same time can be incredibly useful on set. The PortKeys BM7 2DS features a 7-inch screen with a resolution of 1920x1080 and a brightness of 2200 nit, wired and wireless control of camera settings including recording, focus, shutter, ISO and white balance of models from RED, Blackmagic Design, Sony and others. Booting up the device takes 7 to 8 seconds via the power switch on the right side. The user interface can be accessed via the menu control wheel, an exit button and four custom preset buttons. The display can also be operated via touch, which works very responsive. The main menu is displayed on the left side, while the specific settings can be adjusted on the bottom of the screen. By touching the displayed video feed once, it will switch to full screen and the settings will disappear. The device features two SDI inputs and one output plus an HDMI input and output. This means two different camera signals can be fed into the BM7 2DS and be monitored via a split screen that can be customized. The images can be flipped or switched to be displayed on the left or right side. It's also possible to split one signal into two images. One in the original aspect ratio plus a vertical crop of the same feed. This is ideal for productions that require a delivery of both formats. By swiping up in the center of the screen, the monitor shows the camera control menu. Depending on the specific camera model, remote control of most settings is possible via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. For most of our tests we used a Sony A7S III which can be connected via the control with smartphone menu. After switching on the Wi-Fi on the BM7 2DS it should find the camera model. The devices will be paired after the camera's password has been typed into the monitor. The control options are being displayed by swiping up again. This includes triggering the recording, touch focus, color temperature, etc. The values can either be changed by dragging the slider on the bottom to the left or right, or by typing on one of the arrows to increase or decrease the value. This can for example be done for shutter speed or ISO. The white balance setting shows all common presets but also the Kelvin value, so the same options are available on the external screen as on the camera itself. While wireless control is great to have, it's important to mention that the video feed itself isn't being received wirelessly on the device but only via SDI or HDMI cable. Of course it's possible to use third-party transmission systems to do so. Camera models that don't allow for a wireless connection can be plugged in via USB or LAN cable. This is a big plus since many camera models are supported and most camera settings can be set in the monitor's menu. Since there are so many assist options and menu settings available, it can take a while to get used to operating the device to its full potential. Worth mentioning is the advanced focus peaking which allows to set a frame in which the peaking is visible. This can best be used to avoid the system from showing the peaking color on menu items from the camera itself. Well implemented is the false color tool that can also be switched to every false color. The split screen feature is one that we use quite often not just because of the ability to monitor two SDI camera signals but also the multi aspect ratio display from one signal. Custom LUTs can be loaded onto the internal storage of the device without having to keep the USB stick plugged in all the time. The brightness of 2200 nit means the monitor is ideal for outdoor use under intense sunlight. It can be adjusted in 10 steps since the maximum brightness is too bright most of the time when filming indoors. In certain conditions the device can get rather warm but the built-in fan can be adjusted manually depending on the temperature. At 1 there is barely any sound audible while at the maximum of 10 the fan is rather noisy but necessary when shooting in hot environments. An auto adjustment option of the air vents would also be useful since it's not always clear which fan intensity is needed. 
Being made from CNC aluminium alloy, the housing leaves a good impression build quality wise. There are quarter inch screw holes on the top and bottom of the housing to mount the monitor via a magic arm or a tripod. The back features a small antenna for the transmission, two DC inputs and two Sony NPF battery mounts of which only one is needed to power the device. All in all, the PodKeys BM7 2DS seems to be a solid choice for monitoring and remote camera control judging by the camera models that we have tested so far. The assist tools are well designed and allow for plenty of customization. The only thing that could make this device even better would be wireless video transmission without the need for third-party gear. Maybe this is something PodKeys could implement in an advanced model in the future.